hi this is Sridhuvas today we see whether the given number is prime or not See whether the given number is prime or not, we have to check it. See example, see first of all, we will uh, see the definition of prime number, right? A number is divisible by 1 and itself a number is divisible by 1 and itself only itself only then the given number is then the given number is said to be a prime number Suppose if a number is divisible by divisible by one and itself, no other number, okay? Only one and itself. If it is divisible by one and itself, then we can say that uh, the given number is a prime number. It means no other factors for that uh, particular number. Then we can say that uh, that given number is a prime number, okay? So next we will. Uh, that is the definition of the prime number so let me check first whether the given number is prime or not how to check it example 17 see how to check whether the given number means 17 is a prime or not 17 is prime or not or not see first what i have to do is square root of 17 this is equal to approximate that is approximate, approximate square root of 17 is 5 okay approximate square root of 17 is 5 so <coughs> here the prime numbers the prime numbers below 5 is 2 3 then what we have to check it see 17 is not is not divisible by divisible by 2 and 3 okay so we have to find the approximate square root of this number after that uh, we have to write uh, the prime numbers okay less than of this uh, 5 okay we have to write all the prime numbers so if the prime numbers below 5 is 2 and 3 so 17 is not divisible by 2 and 3 it means uh, if any one of the prime numbers less than of the square root of the given number is it divisible or not we have to check the condition if it is divisible then it is not a prime number it is not a divisible by any other number okay then we can say that uh, the given number is not divisible by 2 and 3 so 17 is not divisible by 2 and 3 so 17 is not sorry 17 is a prime number So, if it is not divisible by any these numbers, we can say that it is a prime number, right? So, 17 is a prime number. Next, we will take one more example. Two eighty nine. See, first, what I have to do? Square root of 2 
89 approximate square root we have to find it okay this is we know the how to find the square root of this number see take two partition here the units place digit is 9 we know that 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 4 square is uh, 16 5 square is 25 6 square is 36 7 square is 49 8 square is 64 9 square is 81 okay see 9 here so 3 or 7 okay here 2 2 is in between of 1 square and 2 square so 1 and uh, you have to take multiply with uh, 1 and 2 so 2 2 into 1 is equal to 2 so 2 is uh, 2 is so 2 is in between of 2 is in between of 1 and uh, 2 so it means uh, 2 is less than or equal to 2 it means so uh, we have to take what uh, the less the number we have to take it it means 17 okay so the square root of 289 is 17 so it already we have explained before so we have to the square root of uh, 289 is 17 so what we have to do we have to take less than the 17 of the prime numbers okay we have to take the prime numbers the prime numbers prime numbers less than 17 right we have to take the prime numbers less than 17 see we have to check uh, the prime numbers list 17 is less than of 17 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 right so we have to check it whether the given number is divisible by 17 or not right see 2 is not divisible by 17 right it is not divisible by 2 is not divisible by 17 3 is not divisible 5 is not divisible 7 is not divisible 11 is not divisible 13 is not divisible 17 is divisible so 17 is divisible by 17 okay 17 is divisible by 17 17 is divisible by 17 okay so it means 289 is not a prime number 2 is not a 289 is not a prime number it means that uh, we know the definition a number which is divisible by 1 and itself then we can say that the given number is prime but 289 is divisible by 1 289 17 it means 289 is not a prime number okay Next, we will take one more example. 21. So, what we have to do? Ex approximate square root, we have to find it. Approximate. Approximate square root. Means, approximate square root is 5. Okay. So, we have to take the prime numbers the prime numbers less than 5 is 2 3 5 you can write it 5 also no problem okay 2 3 5 see <coughs> check it okay this 21 is uh, divisible by 5 or not see these uh, these numbers right 21 which is divisible by 2 or not no by 3 3 7 yeah, right so 5 which is not divisible okay so 21 is divisible by 3 means 3 7 right so it means 21 is not a prime number so 21 is not a prime number 
21 is not a prime number why 21 is divisible by 3 21 is divisible by 3 but we know the definition a number is when we called it as a prime number a number which is divisible by one and itself only one and itself only no other number no other number it means 21 is always divisible by 3 so it means 21 is not a prime number right so finally just take any number we have to find the approximate square root condition is approximate approximate square root first condition approximate square root next list the prime numbers list the prime numbers less than or equal less than or equal less than or equal to square approximate square root okay approximate approximate square root okay next check the divisibility test final check the divisibility test divisibility test these are the three conditions you have to keep in keep in mind while you are checking whether the given number is prime or not approximate approximate square root list of the prime numbers less than or equal to approximate square root and check the divisibility test of this number so if it is divisible by any number then it is not a prime number okay so if it is a number a number which is not divisible by any other number this is the less than of uh, this approximate values then we can say that uh, it is a prime number if it is divisible by any one of these numbers then we can say that uh, it is not a prime number okay so you have to keep in mind uh, these conditions okay i hope you understood well if you like this video share it and subscribe it our channel is a learning room and our website is www.alearningroom.com thank you very much